What's up, guys? It's your girl, Matt Cox from M.A. Couture Crafting, and I have another Notion for Notions video for you. This one is a good one. This is one that everybody needs to have. This is a basic. This is one that I really want to encourage you to purchase. This is probably one of the most important things that we kind of throw by the wayside, and that is something to help us clean our machines. Now, when I first started sewing, nobody ever told me that I needed to open up the thing. Nobody told me because you don't know until you know. I'm self-taught. Nobody said, hey, lift up your, your plate and clean out from under there. When I did, it was absolutely jam-packed. I don't know how my machine was working. I don't understand how my feed dogs were moving at all because it was bad. It was impacted to the 10th degree. It, it was so bad. And once I did it, I felt like my machine just went, ah, oh. it, it was terrible because no, I didn't know. So I started to search around and I've got a vacuum that's really nice that sucks stuff out, but it's got a larger nozzle on it, but it's cool. You shouldn't be using air in there because they say you don't want to blow things back into your machine. I found this brush. And what I like about this brush is because I'm using a mechanical machine, one of my machines is mechanical, it has grease and oil in there. And this has those like nylon fibers. So the oil doesn't bother it. And the lint seems to just, uh, it just is attracted to the brushes. Now the brush cannot get into super tiny areas. And I do have my little itty bitty, um, little, you know, my little bitty, um, they're not cotton swabs, but they help you apply glue to, to little micro things. I have a tiny brush for that. And those are great. And they will have their own video because you do need those too. But this brush is just great. It gets around, it pulls it underneath there. You just do a really quick swoop just to, and it just sucks it all in there. And then I grab a paper towel or a tissue and I just wipe the ends. And then I retract it back into its house. It also has a rubber tip that I find that I can kind of scrape up. Sometimes the oil seems to seep underneath my machine. And when I'm doing a deep cleaning, I can get it right in there and pull it out. And it's silicone. So it's not um, absorbing that oil or being affected in any way. I love this brush, you guys. I know it sounds silly. It sounds super random, but it is the best brush, especially if you're using a mechanical machine. It'll just, you just put the stuff near it and it just, it's like a magnet. And just take it and wipe it off and keep it moving, guys. And try to clean your machines often. I know that it's not the fun part, but please don't let your stuff get impacted. And if you don't know, you should be cleaning your machine often. Pop it open, look in there. After every project, after you're finished sewing, after a few hours of sewing, just, just give it a little swirl. Just make sure everything is cool and uh, start your sewing day. All right, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please like, comment, subscribe, and share me with your friends. Please, 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 we are growing the brand. All right, I will catch you guys on the next one. All right, bye-bye.